Let's get tasty. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, what's going on? I've been wanting to do a video about wine for so long. It's very hard to get their schedule down. They're very busy, 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 successful uh, entertainers in the wine world. So hello and welcome to the first video of One and Two Half Men, the Wine Boys. We are here, high five. This is Raiden, high five. This is Caden, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about wine. Uh, this is not sort of meant for the wine experts of this world. This is more meant for whoever is following me on social media or on any of my channels and wants to know a little bit more about wine. And today I want to talk a little bit about um, the uh, wine descriptors, the wine characteristics, and a little bit about what blind tasting is all about. Um, what is blind tasting? Uh, a banana. A banana? You're very right. Banana could be banana. part of a... Could be part of a wine descriptor. You want to smell? Very good. You want to smell? What do you think is in this wine? Down there. It's down there. Wonderful. What do you think? Uh, uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti? Okay. Spaghetti is very possible. Spaghetti is yellow. Yeah. What else is in this wine? Giddy. Giddy. Okay. Wine makes you giddy. Wonderful. What else is in this wine? Oranges? That's a very good one. High five. Very good one. Well, let's see what is in this wine. The way we analyze wine, the best way to do it is to have a white piece of paper um, so that you really get the, the color of the wine. The way we describe wine is we look at sights. We describe the nose. We describe the palate. That is correct. Sight, nose, and palate. Um, hello. hello. Who's on the phone? Yeah. Who's on the phone? Yeah. Is it the wine director? When we describe the nose, uh, we look at primary fruits, which will be... Apples. Apples, very right. Apples. Uh, phone. Phone? Yeah. Is there a phone in there? Yeah. All right. So yes, uh, citrus fruits, obviously, for uh, white wines, uh, lemon, lime. We have orchard fruits, which he's right about, apple, pear. We um, also have uh, stone fruits, peach, nectarine, apricot, and then we have tropical fruits. Um, you know, pineapple, mango, guava, papaya, and so forth. The second we do is we assess if the wine has oak or not. Imparts the flavor of vanilla. We also assess the minerality. Um, believe it or not, but you can really Sheta. smell Sheta. limestone, Sheta. river stone, gravel, and so Popcorn. forth. Popcorn? Popcorn, actually popcorn, buttery Popcorn. elements is in white wines too. And one more aspect is the floral aspect of the wine. Sometimes a wine is very floral, uh, smells of jasmine and honeysuckle and so forth. It took me a while to get that, uh, but it's really, really interesting. And then we look at not just the fruit, we actually say if it's a ripe fruit, underripe, if it's a fresh fruit, if it's baked. What do you think this is? Apple. Uh, uh, apple. Uh, cucumbers. Cucumbers? Hmm. I haven't had a cucumber in a white wine, but what we do have is the vegetal element as well, which is green, green bell pepper, jalapeno. Some grass in there. Grass, yes. Grass is in there too. Vegetal characteristic. Grass. Absolutely. Wine up there. Wine up there, exactly. And then I'm going to check this out on the palate. <laughs> Obviously, the kids' boys are not getting any. Uh, it's my spit bucket. We spit out because, yeah, tasting way too many wines. Where are you guys going? We're not done here. Uh, uh, how am I supposed to smell anything? This wine smells like poop. You know, the more, the drier kind of poop, you know? Did you have uh, chocolate for breakfast? No, chocolate milk. Oh, chocolate milk. See? <laughs> My nose is quite good. Hey, no more farting, okay? While I'm doing these videos. And that's it for today. Are you about to poop? Do you need no. to poop? No. Maybe that fart was an indicator that you need to poop. Uh, I can't. I can't. No? no?
Bye-bye.